Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog with me. I am actually in the middle of doing a craft. So the craft that we are actually going to be doing today for Valentine's is these strawberry roses. So it essentially is when you take a really sharp paring knife and you cut into the rose or cut into the strawberry and shape it back so it looks like a rose. So we have our strawberries, our glitter, our paring knife, skewers, a plate and a napkin just to do this on, scissors for cutting ribbon, a floppy do is what I was calling it, but it's a little floppy silicone brush and that's to paint the homemade uh, brown sugar simple syrup onto the berries so that the glitter will stick. I'm hoping that works. So just carefully, not cutting myself, we're gonna take a little slice and we're gonna kind of give it a little folding back. This knife is very, very sharp. But we're just kind of pulling back the what will be the petal. Very nice. We're already off to a good start. I feel like that looks like a rosebud just like that. I've been watching I've seen this pop up on my Pinterest a number of times and it always looked so easy but such a clever idea for a romantic holiday, for Valentine's Day, if it's your anniversary and you're a fella and you want to really impress your lady, you can do this very easily. Just don't cut yourself. Look at that. She looks like a rose. Oh, I'm so excited. Just like so. And we'll come back to it, you know? We'll come back and make sure that these folds are really, you wanna make sure they're really pushed back here. That is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. There's rose number one. We'll start on the next. This is essentially just brown sugar boiled in water. If you can see this in person, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it totally looks like a glittery crimson Beauty and the Beast rose. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about how this is turning out. These came out. So perfect. This one got a little chunky monkey and it's purely just because I was playing around with the size of the petals. I think this one is the best one and this was my first one. So starting from the top, folding back the leaf and going down to the bottom is the best way. This one isn't bad. This is starting from the bottom and going up, uh, but I feel like it just, it looks, it looks good too. It's not bad. It's not bad but I just think this one is the best. And then this one, because the petals are too big, it just looks like a completely butchered strawberry. Overall, I think for the first time ever doing this, this turned out really good. And this would be such a sweet gift to give somebody if you did like a dozen. It would take a little bit of time. I think altogether, maybe this took me under 10 minutes to do the three. All right, well, starting off the week with a fun one. So let me clean up. I'll see you guys when I see ya. Good morning. What's going on here? I'm trying to have the shaggy bang thing and it just ends up in my eye. <laughs> but I was about to shoot a little reel showing the table coming together for those candlesticks that I got in the spiral candles because they've been sitting here forever uh, with no purpose. And I finally cleaned them up and I'm going to pull the previous runner I had on here, reset the table, put a new runner down. I think I just want everything to be really neutral. I wish I had a really, I wish I had a really light, almost like cotton white uh, runner. So yeah, I'm gonna put that little video together right now, reset this table. <sighs> I'm out of breath. This has gotta be PMS. Just all the signs are there. I'm bloated. I feel uncomfortable. This is another reason why Moo Moo's come in handy because I am just, ugh, you know? All right, so a project just arrived. I got this 
And what this is, I think that's just so you can take these out if you decide you want to take them out. But what this is, is this is going to be um, lipstick. So with my makeup kit, I currently have a Smashbox lipstick tray and it has a lot of colors in it but honestly I feel like I need more and I would prefer to put my MAC lipstick collection in here. Basically melted down into this tray but I got this cute little rose tin just because I thought that would be really adorable and it came with 40 I think. This is my plan today. I'm gonna sit here and melt down all my lipsticks to put in my makeup kit. another day with me and I am about to do probably the most exciting thing you've ever seen on YouTube ever so hold on to your shorts people cuz we're making applesauce <laughs> We're either gonna make applesauce or apple cider. I can't decide but I have a bunch of apples and I feel like how about them apples? I also have a drippy nose. I don't know what's going on. I've been sneezing, sneezing all morning. Sorry for that. Uh, but I, I have a bunch of apples that have been sitting in a basket. I just don't want them to go bad. I know we're not going to eat them. So I want to peel them, save the peels for simmer pots, maybe even get a simmer pot going while I'm making this. But I'm going to put them in the slow cooker so that they have four hours to do their thing and mush. And then once they're mushy, I was considering maybe just pulsating, pul pulverizing, <laughs> what's the word? Chop them up and make them into a homemade applesauce. But I almost think that my husband and I would enjoy it more if it was turned into a more like cider drink that we can warm up, put some cinnamon in and maybe have like a tea. So on the fence, on the fence, we haven't decided, but we have four hours to figure that out because that's how long it's gonna have to sit in the crock pot. It's gonna smell so good. I am wearing my panty liner dress. <laughs> I know that this was my first ever collar that I've ever tried to make. I know that. No one else knows that other than you guys, but people out in the general public do not know that this is a homemade panty liner. <laughs> I need to stop calling it that collar, but I, since I know that I made this, it's all I see and I'm considering actually maybe putting it on a different dress with a different collar and redoing this or just not putting it on the dress at all. No. No, this dress needs it. I just am thinking about designing one that kind of sticks up here a little bit more onto the collar part. So I've got that to think about, but luckily when I attached it, it's just by two little strings, easy to clip off and then it's fine. But yeah, that that is something I'm, I'm gonna, it's gonna bug me, I think. Looking at it in the mirror, especially when my hair is down like this, it's, it's totally fine. It's, it looks like a collar, so it works. But I just wanted to wear this dress today. <sighs> because I haven't worn it since I upcycled it and it's so cute. And I do want to run a couple of errands. There's a coffee shop that I have a gift certificate to that I've been hanging on to and I want to just pop in, get myself a coffee for the sake of getting out of the house really. And then I also in that same area have my boots and my purse that have been sitting in this shoe repair place forever. He said that they were ready and they haven't, I haven't heard from him. He keeps saying he's gonna text me. I think he's just overwhelmed. I honestly think he's overwhelmed. I like to give people a little bit of grace and understanding and small businesses, you know, it's a lot. Yeah, that's the plan for the day. Uh, I have some nail polish that I just got delivered and I wanna put this on really quick. I've got some emails to do, things to do on my computer, but yeah, I, um, I have this pearly, what is it called? Pure Pearl by Revlon. And I just was really craving a pearly white 
Isn't that so gorgeous? So I was going to put that on and then while I was at it, I'm out of top coat. So I just grabbed another one. Revlon is so affordable, nail polish wise. Didn't even realize that. I've been trying to do more of the breathable natural polishes because my fingers are just so damaged from years and years of gels and acrylics that I'm just really trying to take care of myself, my, my hands, my skin, my lashes, my hair. Like for years and years I attached, I glued, I glued, I taped, I stapled things to my body. It adhered things in all sorts of ways to extend and extend and extend <laughs> and I'm Sienna Unglued. I keep saying that if I ha ever had an autobiography that it would be called Sienna Unglued because I finally removed all of this crap. As soon as I see a girl on Instagram with extensions and their nails all acrylic and looking really good and their eyelashes have the extent, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I, I have extensions under my sink ready. They're taped and ready and I've gotten this close. <laughs> can't even tell you but all it takes is for me to put serums into my hair and rub my scalp when I get out of the shower and I instantly go nope and also when I curl it and make it cute I'm actually like it's pretty it's thick and it's it's pretty good it just has its moments this yeah see that's cute right just out of the face off to the side little hairspray same thing over here that's what I'm gonna do. But, oh, and then my lipstick tray. I, I didn't even show it to you. I did it. That took me three hours. <laughs> it took so long. But I would like to thank anxiety. I was feeling so anxious yesterday. I think it's a hormonal thing. I just, my, my destruction brain, my anxiety brain, my agoraphobia brain was on high alert. It was like the world's gonna end destruction terror. But here is the uh, tray that got my mind off of all of my worries. Well, no, it didn't. I just did this and worried. <laughs> this helped, but I, only, I, I still have half of the trays left. This is 20 or 19 MAC lipsticks. And can you believe that one tray little pot holds an entire lipstick? But this is so handy, so handy. So now what I do when I go to a makeup consultation or whatever for a client is I have this little palette. I take my scoop, I scoop the lipstick out, I put it on here and then I close this and set it aside because this never gets double dipped. This never gets cross contaminated. This never gets dipped, re-dipped. It would have to be a clean tool only that's sanitized, dipped into there. My finger will never go in there. A lip brush will never go in there. None of that. It's only a sterile little thingy majibby because that way this stays perfectly clean and uh yeah sterile you know because it's going on someone's mouth okay so anyway there's that and then that'll help me too because myth is in there foe is in there i mean there's some pretty uh what other, what was the other one i was just thinking whirl that's a good one one of my top three favorite mac lipsticks is faux myth and whirl so anyway i'm having my morning coffee it's still very early and then we are going to hopefully get my purse and my boots back from the shoe guy. And then I want to redo this room. I'm not doing this today, but I'm going to get, I'm going to see how hard it's going to be to get the wallpaper off. I'm over it. I know I just did this. I spent over a hundred dollars on it, which hurts a little bit, but these colors aren't for me. I love the idea and the concept of having a Marie Antoinette looking room, but pink and blue is not me. That's not me. I'm a peach and tan and beige and burgundy, sage green. To be an entire room of something that isn't me at all, it's been it's been driving me crazy. If I feel like it looks like a little girl's nursery. <laughs> And that'll never get out of my head, but I just am over it. So I've got some thinking to do. I've been already Pinterest boarding uh, concepts for up here for a little bit more of a boho themed style. But again, I don't want it to be boho in the sense that everything is just neutral and really boring. I want it to be exciting. I want it to be fun. It's a room that I can do anything I want with because it's my desk and my beauty room and I can do anything in here with it. I can really go wild. And I think that's why I chose this wallpaper to begin with, but I think it's time. It's time to switch it up.
So that's on the agenda, but let's paint our nails first and then we're gonna go downstairs and get the apples in the crock pot because that's gonna take four hours. Okay. The other side is clipped back and now I'm too, way too bronzed. <laughs> I am self tanned and I feel like I'm just getting so pale this winter. Look at my apple mountain! So now it's just a lemon basket. <laughs> there's, what? there's only lemons in here now. And save all these for simmer pots. Because apples and simmer pots, we all know, is the best. Now that that is done, we can start cutting up the apple. Again, this is just gonna be for the juice, so it doesn't really have to be perfect. All right, now we're going to flavor it up. We're gonna actually do some lemon, because I do like a citrus kick. Now we're gonna do some nutmeg. Tons of cinnamon though, I want lots and lots of cinnamon. We're gonna do some clove. And then we're just gonna do about a cup of brown sugar. Again, eyeballing it because I'm a rebel. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. And we're gonna put it on high for about four hours and then we're gonna check it and if it needs to go longer, it'll go longer. But that's how long we're gonna start. It's about four hours, apples in the cooker. It's gonna smell great all day. Be a cozy little beverage at the end of the day. I don't know though, now I'm thinking applesauce. <laughs> Sounds so good. We'll see. Check it out. It's a little bit like the glazed donut look, which is what I'm going for. Like, isn't that what they're calling it? The glazed donut? <laughs> I like. Ooh, I really like. I don't know why he feels the need to join me up here when I know all he's gonna do is bark at everything. I love you. I love you. By the way, the cider is going downstairs and it smells so good. I just gave it a little stir. The house smells amazing. So something came. Did I talk about this at all? It's not, it's not food, Marvin. <laughs> not for shush shush. It's not for shushush. Oh my gosh. It's that vintage makeup powdery musty <laughs> storage space smell. Beautiful. Look. Look at this. This is if there could be anything that says Sienna on it. A rose perfume bottle. Mm, not a good smell. <laughs> Look at it. I, I found this because I was on the, uh, it's from Heritage or something. It's a website. So I was on this website and it has all of the Avon, as much of the Avon stuff as, as possible is listed on this website in an archive. And when I saw this, that they had a rose, I knew right away I needed to find one. And then I Googled it to see if anybody was offering it for sale online. And it actually rests like this. It's so cute. Moonwind cologne. Oh my gosh, this is so old. Oh, I got it on my nose. Great. If that doesn't smell like perfume from the 80s. I actually don't know what year this is from, I forgot. Let me put it up here. But this is what it looks like up close for you guys. Again, we're kind of going with the whole like rose theme. It's a very rosy themed video because <laughs> I had started off with my strawberry roses. It's a beauty and the beast. Beauty, beauty. I'm the beast, he's the beauty. <laughs> you're the beauty bean. No, you're the beast. You're the beast. All right, anyway, just wanted to show you that. Let's go get our stuff. I'm so excited. They look so good. Oh my gosh. They look brand new. The shoes look brand new. These are my Marc Jacobs over the knee boots. Wow. That's great. 
That's really great. He's so sweet. The purse has uh, one more coat of dye that he needs to do on the leather. And so I was just like, that's totally all good. He had like three Louis Vuitton bags in there with the same problem as mine. I'm gonna head home and make my cider. It's smelling so delicious. Wholesome. We're gonna put them in the cups Jerome made. It's been slow cooking for four hours. What is it? Hot apple cider. Homemade. Yes. So welcome to Vegas, baby. What I live for. Mm. Yeah? Huh? Homemade hot apple cider. Proud of myself. Ugh. That is so freaking good. You know what? That really would be good with orange. I saw one of the recipes had orange in it and that makes total sense. And I think the honey really rounds it out. So yay, I'm gonna go sip this and get some work done. You going for a walk, walk. You going for a walk, walk. Tina, where are your tage? Where are your tage? She ain't got no tage. She ain't got no tage, Lieutenant Dan. You ain't got no tage, teeny tiny. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Nice. <laughs> Smells so good. Going for a walk, walk. Bark, bark in the park, park. Oh, look at that little guy. <laughs> Rose garden update. This will be in full bloom in a few months. How's that? out of the house. Three hours later. Well, I just broke into my house. <laughs> Thank God I didn't do the deadbolt <laughs> and the chain to go out there. Thank God. And now I will never make that mistake again. We will be putting a house key on the gym key because that sucked and now I'm late. So <sighs> I gotta go and I gotta go looking like this. So I'm just gonna like try to spruce my hair up a little bit more and then I gotta drive down. I gotta run all my errands looking like this today. Okay, I had to put on something cute because I can't, <laughs> I just can't. I'm going down to Antique Row. That's where all the thrift stores are. I couldn't go looking like a scrub. It took me five minutes to put myself together. This is a go-to dress. And then I wanted to, I really wanted to wear my boots cause look how good they look. He did such a good job. And you know what? I have a suspicion that they smoke uh, cigars in there. I'm not gonna say for certain, but they smell like leather and cigars, which I'm not mad at. <laughs> I'm not mad at. It's a bunch of dudes working up in that shoe store. It's very old school, very classic old school, like, what is it, cobbling, cobblers. And so <laughs> they do things the old school way and everything definitely smells like leather and tobacco. All right. Got the goods. I got the most of what I wanted and then I literally just donated the rest to the gals there because honestly, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm so sick of toting that stuff around since I tried to have my little shop down here and uh, just didn't work out. So the next order of business is getting Super Bowl food <laughs> because the game is on today and we're gonna have a little spread. So I'm getting non-alcoholic beer and some chicken, I was thinking. I kinda was thinking vegan chicken wings, but I think I'm gonna get the real deal. And uh, what else? I feel like I didn't even get to enjoy my coffee today. It has been nothing but chaos. Great, just splashed everywhere. Great, great, great.
God, people next to me. Great. Great, great, great. Like, I care. Like, I care. Like, I care. I don't. I don't. I'll never see that person again in my life. All right, this is the pile of inventory I took. I think I got everything I mostly wanted. Um, I do have some vintage dresses, that Nelly Dawn dress, and I actually think there's a few things that I've decided I do want to keep. I don't know what happened. I got like toss happy and got rid of a lot of stuff that I actually think I want to hang on to and upcycle. Yeah, I've got a lot to go through and consider what will be in the web shop, but you know, <laughs> we'll see. It's been a day. <laughs> it has been a day. My hand still feels weird. Got some Heineken Zeros for the game. We're gonna have some pretzels and some beer. We got some dessert and a various a variety of things to munch on. Anyway, so I'm gonna put all this away. I'm gonna get comfortable. Today, I really wanted to make about thrifting and doing a thrift project because I got locked out. I got behind on time and then now I have to inventory all this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up even though it was so crazy. I don't even know if it was any good. Um, subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys on the next one for Valentine's. We are gonna go do something for Valentine's Day. So I'll, I'll share the outfit. You already know what I'm wearing, but I'll share uh, what we do with you. So anyway, till then, bye. Thank you.